hello welcome to this tutorial on modus deeper and today i'm going to show you uh, tools or macros to apply when creating a car canopy or a car shade and we'll get started right away if you take a look on the screen here you can see some little bit of uh, from uh, you can see a, a small structure here a uh, two 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 columns and a hipped roof a hipped roof uh, roof that will be holding the canvas on top just to shield the, your car or cars against the sun or direct sunlight or from rain now this is how it look so we have this this simple uh, roof supported uh, against uh, these two columns now we'll uh, this is some sort of a, a cantilever so we need to brace this cantilever with this some somehow a tensile stay maybe coming all the way from this top to 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 this end another one from that end to that end now i'm going to show you some uh, a tool or some basic tools that can help you uh, do this uh, in a nice way so briefly prior to going to that i want just to take you through on on how I, I did this uh, simple hip roof that will be holding uh, the canvas for our car canopy now let me just uh, rotate on top uh, pick that uh, top part as our rotation point and uh, I'll come up here and you can see I used I created that member and I connected it to this and uh, I welded all this you can see how it's a simple structure that should not uh, uh, create some create you give you headache to create it is a simple one let me just turn it around you can have a look at that and this simple creation like uh, this simple connection uh, i created with a tool called a mitre or a cranked beam let me just uh, double click on it so that you see the connection I use the I use a crank beam uh, to create this. You can follow that. You can just type here 41, and you can get the macro here. This is the railing mitre. So you can also use this the crank beam. Just double click on that, and you can uh, also apply this, or you can apply the mitre. Both works. You can use you can connect it to, to that, and then you omit uh, the bolts. You get rid of the bolts perfect it works much better like that now i'm going to show you no, no not to show you we are now want, we now want to brace this cantilever with the a tensile stay uh, stay that will be running all the way from that end uh, to this far end and another one from that end to this far end and once we've done that we can populate this along uh, along this length or along the y-axis like that now what i'm going to do just to close this and uh, not to close that just to go for that macro and that macro that will uh, help us brace this uh, cantilever i will just call it rod rod brace rod brace and we can pick that and if you take a look on the on the bottom end here we can we can select this column as our main part and select on that then select this as our secondary part and we'll pick that point as our first point then uh, we'll snap on that spot as our, as, as our second point and wait for it to load and here we are uh, the connection has been created and now i'll come to navigate here and i'll turn that round like that let me just zoom out and you can come to turn buckle here and you can now just uh, uh, put your preferred uh, parameters but by just double clicking on it and uh, coming straight here and change the the size of this rod here you can give it a 20 20 will be okay and just go ahead and click modify apply and accept it and it's it's claiming it's too big and you can just double click once again and come back and then do that and double click once again and try to change this to 16 try apply or once again try 20 if we'll accept 20 has accepted 
and we can right click and redraw and you can see that in place this is how it looks and this turn buckle turn buckle is used to to tighten uh, this brace that will be holding our our or will be bracing uh, this cantilever now let me just turn this round we have that in place let me just turn that and this is adjustable just turn that round round to make it more tighter <coughs> Let me come to navigate and let me turn that round like that. Uh, now from here, I can just go ahead and select on that, then come to copy. I can hold it from the bottom end here and I'll snap right at the center there and zoom out and go all the way to, to that spot. Make sure you snap on accurate position like that and just zoom out and check whether you've snapped or you've placed this in the right position. Let me just zoom out and turn that and we are in the right position and this is how it looks now the next uh, step we are going to do just to select everything then I'll press ctrl and, se and deselect the grid and uh, i'll come all the way to this spot this end and what i'm going to do i'm just going to pick on this pick on this i'll just leave that one select on empty screen uh, select uh, click on empty screen then just pick on this member right click and come to special uh, come to copy and just uh, snap on that bottom end and just place your cursor right there and you want to offset this by 92 i mean by 90.2 90.2 right there and you go ahead and click okay we need that member in that location right there so the next thing we're going to do just select everything just select everything and isolate and deselect the parts that you don't intend to copy along like this members I'm selecting I'll deselect that so I'll remain with only the roof of this canopy this is the part that I want to copy to the other to the other section and still I'll get rid of this because this is still in our selection and I don't want to copy it elsewhere so what I'm going to do is just right click and come to copy and I'll pick it from this bottom end right here and move all the way to this bottom end and I'll snap right here and prior to doing that I need to readjust or uh, select this column once again because I want to take it the other end I, for I uh, forgot to deselect it I forgot and deselected it and I need it uh, that far end now I'll pick it from this bottom end snap at the bottom end here and move all the way to this end and i'll place it right there i'll right click right click and what i'm going to do right now is just now to pick it from this end deselect it right click and redraw just to to see what we have in place this is how it looks now and it's beautiful this is how it looks the parts that you see clashing will be rectified later on like this part you are seeing here has been has been left out so we just can, we can just come here and pick pick on it and we can pick it from that spot and take it all the way to this end here and we can include it in these members on these members or with these members now 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 let me just come to navigate again and i want to copy this member i want to copy this member select everything here i'll press ctrl and select that i'll select that i'll select that one i'll select that so just pick whatever you feel uh, you, you want to carry along to the other end so I'll just select those sections or those members that I've just highlighted. So any part that you've left out, remember to come back for them. So I'll right click and come to copy and I want to pick it from this end. I want to pick it from this end 
and I don't want to duplicate this member so what I'm going to do is very very simple here what I'm going to do is very simple just uh, dis uh, deselect that and I want to copy this one the other end I'll copy this select on this right click and come to copy and I'll pick it from that position and just place my cursor right there and I'll type 92 90 190 190.2 and I'll click OK it should be in that position once selected and I'll come here and select all these select all that then come to control uh, come to control and press control while hold while turning that round it shouldn't be really selecting control just come to navigate and uh, rotate this press control now to select the, the members that has has not been selected and turn around and check whether you've left any any section out and select and include in your selection so let me get get rid of that and uh, get rid of this also get rid of that so that I remain only with the with the parts that I want to be included here so I'll right click and come to copy so once I've clear uh, I've picked on that I'll select the bottom end here because I don't want to include the this one on top of this so I'll just bring it somewhere here and uh, place it right there right click and click interrupt and we have this one in place so we can right click and redraw just to refresh everything and we can turn that round like that so we have our canopy in place and this is what we wanted to create or to show you how uh, to create this and supporting the roof of this simple uh, a car canopy it is supported with this it is braced with this uh, turn buckle uh, cable that is a, it, that is just about the at the at the midpoint here you can really tighten uh, to to make it stronger so this how it looks and this how this how our, our canopy now looks now what you are going to do will just go straight to uh, t uh base plates just type base plates right here and we'll pick that one then we'll come at the bottom end here and click on that then snap at the bottom end there and we created a base plate and you can snap at the bottom end here just snap at the bottom end here don't worry about the clashing we'll come back and discuss that select on that and select on that and select on this perfect so here it's quite simple to handle you just you just come here and trim these plates that uh, that that penetrates on the other end and cut them out and move and get rid of one bolt here so that you remain with one at the center because uh, during the fabrication the best plates will be one for the one for the two one that will be serving the two uh, uh, simple columns here so I'll go I'll not go so much into details on how you can trim this it's a very simple thing to do so let me just turn that round come to navigate and turn this round and that's how it looks let me close this now for now thanks a lot for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're new to this channel or it's the first time and is your first is the first video you, you've bumped on don't forget to subscribe to this channel I'm Morris Dimba and don't forget once again to subscribe and let's meet then and bye bye